Hi and welcome to this tutorial about Google Docs and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can share a document with a lot of students and have them make a copy of the document so that way it's in their Google Docs forever and ever. So in a previous tutorial we talked about how to share this document, this lab write-up ball bounce and I picked it because I belonged or it owned, I owned it. So let's say you would like to share this with 80 of your kids and that's how many approximately I have in biology this year. So I want to do that but like I said in another tutorial Google unless you have so many shares a day and if you have more than 80 you're gonna run out real fast. So here's what I do instead. I go into the document and I hit this share button and what I do is I make sure the sharing settings are set to anyone who has the link can view. Now how do you do that? If you hit the change there, make sure this is clicked or make sure this is checked. And if I'm doing this with students, I make sure they can only view it. They, I don't want them editing my original. So I leave that alone. I don't let them comment. Don't let them edit that. I just say they can look at it and that's all they can do. So then you hit save. You're going to get this link up here. Okay. So what I do is I copy and paste that link onto my website or in a, you can actually put this link in another Google document but I put that on my website and then when they click on it let's pretend they've clicked on it from my website they'll go to file make a copy now here's the deal with Google Docs whatever you put out for kids or whatever you put out for somebody else anyone can make a copy of any document whether they can view it edit whatever so you have to be careful with Google Docs if you put it out there and somebody can open it they can make a copy of it and the reason that is I have to caution you about that is when they make a copy watch what happens I don't have them copy document collaborators so then hit OK then you'll notice copy of lab write up all bounds okay so it's re it renames it when you make a copy, what it does is it makes the student who opened, who just made the copy the owner of the document. So if they don't copy the document collaborators, they own it and they have a copy of your document. Which I'm telling you this because I don't want you to start uploading tests and quizzes that you want to keep from year to year here because all they have to do is make a copy of it and they have it. So that's my word of caution. But I do this with things like worksheets or things that you know I put on their directions I, so that way they can have it then once they make a copy of it all of a sudden they're the owner they can edit it so this is what I like to do so that way they don't mark up my original document now you can have them go ahead and share they can actually add people you see how it's now private it was anyone with the link now it's private when you make a copy they can actually add the people in their group if it's a group project and you can have them share with each other and collaborate Again, I don't advocate having more than like 15 people in a document because it gets crazy after a while. So that is how you can have your students make a copy. By the way, I would have them rename this document. All they have to do to rename it is click on it. I would have them rename it, but that is how you may have students make a copy. And basically, it's how I pass out papers. I pass it out, they make a copy, and then it's theirs, and then they can write in it. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know.